afternoon, everyone. This is Jared Rand, and welcome to the Global Guided Meditation Call for 3 p.m. Eastern Thursday, October 18th, 2018. And thinking about in, in today's meditation and, uh, you know, where we're actually uh, moving uh, and progressing with people, I noticed that. You know, there's people that are having, uh, they are still in a judgment uh, field. They need to judge and they need to make comment on things. And, you know, it, it's very, very tricky to uh, give people heads up that, you know, when we talk about not having to visit or immerse ourselves in 3D, uh, frequencies with those frequencies and, and what we're doing is, is we're elevating ourselves away from those frequencies and immersing ourselves in uh, deep eternal love and caring and, and bliss and joy and prosperity with each other and ourselves and when you when you dip into that when you dip your foot into that water that is the lower vibrational frequencies it lowers everything around you as well as you and I don't think people realize that. Uh, you know, it's like if you're focused on a meditation and if you're connected as I guide you to your heart center, your heart mind, your higher self, nothing should affect you. It shouldn't bother you. Things You, you, know, you should be at, at a peaceful stage uh, instead of disgruntled or irritated or stressed or... It's just, and it's being able to know yourself and how to, to alleviate all of that stuff uh, on the outside that, that's pulling you down, pulling on your ankles, trying to pull you back down into the pit. And you see, it's, it's a transition. And to be cognizant or to, you know, to be truly, clearly aware that these energies aren't going to leave you alone. It's not like they're going to fade away. They're going to keep trying to keep you uh, immersed in that uh, frequency so that you're irritated, that you become judgmental, that you see things uh, that are critical. Uh, and instead of flowing, uh, it's chop, chop, chop. It's like a jerk movement instead of flowing, you know, being fluid. And it's really important to understand that. And so, it's like I've used the analogy of the canoe and the river. And when you, when you take that canoe down that river with no oars and you have faith, no matter where that canoe will take you, um, it is a blessing. It's a, it's a good thing. It's a happy thing. Uh, and, and it will be a wonderful experience. And by putting those intentions, and that's what they're exactly what they are, those strong, felt, heartfelt intentions, are to literally assist you in navigating this, um, I guess you could call it very rough waters. And the rough waters are, you're moving from the lower energies to the higher energies. And of course, you can expect every effort on the lower energies to keep you in the lower energies. That's just it. You have to. You should be prepared for that and understand that. If we profess verbally that deep eternal love for ourselves and others, but yet on the outside we act differently and we act still in three-dimensional, we act critical, uh, cantankerous, uh, judgmental, uh, this will keep you in the same position that you have been in for the majority of your stay in that body. And so it's very crucial that these meditations, when, you know, you, you aren't going to allow yourself to be disrupted, you are literally placing yourself in a very fluid, soft, deep, eternal loving situation, position, and you flow with it. You just go with the flow of it. And like in today's meditation, is... Do not judge. Do not judge. Because what happens?
happens when you do that, you affect yourself. You affect your emotions. You affect all of your energy. Judgment is usually perpetrated on some form of irritation within that being that they are portraying out towards others. And I get people all the time talking to me about, you know, people judging them or they find themselves judging others. And see, that, these are things that we have to be very good record keepers of. It's like everything is finite and we're looking and making sure that I'm not going there with that. I am not pursuing that emotion or attitude. It doesn't get me anywhere. This is about knowing yourself. It's about literally being able to communicate with yourself on these grounds. So it's, it's like you're managing and it makes you become more aware and clearer uh, and, and much more in tune with you when you're, you're listening now to your thoughts. You're listening to your thoughts, you're listening to your heart and you're realizing that I can't, I'm not, I can't go there, I won't go there, you know? Because once you do, I know you've experienced it, it's like fall, you fall, you, you start sinking, and other things start coming in that are negative, that are, that are cynical-type energies, and it affects you all the way around. Eventually, it's just affecting you from head to toe inside now. You become irritable, uh, you become exasperated, impatient, uh, you, you know, stress, uh, you, you, uh, you're, you're not relaxed, you're not calm. Uh, and you're quick to snap, you're quick to judge others, uh, you step out of that, that ring uh, and you attack others. It could be verbally, it could be a comment, it could be uh, criticism. Uh, and, and instead of flowing and concentrating on you and your higher self and that bond and that balance, this is all about balance. This is about all of us balancing ourselves. Uh, and, and being in harmony and in sync with who we are, that we are divine energy, that we are God sparks, that we're spirits, we're souls. And knowing, just to know the basics, the basic part is to know thyself, know thyself, which means knowing your higher self. It's like, what would, higher, what would my higher self do? Higher self, what would you do in this case? A higher self's going to give you an answer. It's basically said, don't go there, because it's not going to get you any satisfaction but irritation, and that's not satisfaction. So that's when people get in arguments and they yell and scream. It just totally negates who they truly are. So in this uh, meditation, it, it's about do not judge, period, whether it be you or others. That you fill yourself with deep eternal love, and, and that's just not a phrase or a statement. That's a reality. That's what we are. So it's about fusing that together, and eventually you'll find out something. And I'll tell you this, and I'm sure some of you know, that the majority of the prophets throughout history did not judge people, did not ridicule people, did not criticize people. None of it happened with them. Buddha, Siddhartha Buddha, he never criticized. He didn't walk around criticizing and critiquing people and everything. Well, look at that. Look what they're saying here and look what they're doing there. And why are they doing this and that? And it, it, it's just, and, and here's, here's the old saying. If you can't see anything good, don't say anything at all. If you think things, a lot of times you shouldn't say them. So you might think them, that way you can contain them, and they don't get out of hand, and then you can disperse them. So, if you will, go to your place where you're not going to be interrupted, which I'm sure most of you are, and relax. And just let everything fall away. Anything that's holding you down, any stresses, any negatives that you identify, let them go. During this time, going into this guided meditation, just let them float away. Become as light as a feather. 
as you do this, as I talk, you're going to want to breathe six times. And you're going to want to breathe in through the nose, inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. As you inhale, hold at 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. And relax. And as you're breathing in, you're breathing in divine positive energy. And this divine positive energy is deep, eternal love. It is non-judgmental. It is non-critical. It is just flowing freely. And it's embracing you. And this, this opens up just like a flower where you begin to blossom and expand your love and your caring and your patience and your bliss and your joy. And with all of that comes great wealth, abundance, and prosperity. And all the things that you've always desired. And as you breathe out, you're breathing out all of the things that you know and you do know how the different things vibrate with you. The negatives, the stresses, the tensions, they do us no good. They never have. So it's about us working on this, uh, easing it away, dispersing it. So the best way is to uh, breathe it out, let it go. It's vaporized, it's sent back to the central sun permanently for repurposing. So now we will go in through the heart mind, through the heart center. As we go in through the heart mind, we go up and deep. We find ourselves encapsulated in a perfect sphere of golden white, pink light, prime source, creator God's eternal love. Em the emerald green healing flaming light of Archangel Raphael. The purple transmuting flame and the violet ray. These are all swirling through us, around us, above us, below us. We're all totally protected. And only eternal love can penetrate that sphere. And we look and we see our higher self and we immediately join with our higher self. And as we do, we feel complete. We feel deeply, eternally loved continuously, without end, and infinitely. As we do this, we are all in communication with our higher selves and all in communication with any higher self that we have permission to communicate with. Arm in arm, hand in hand, we begin to float up above the planet. We elevate ourselves. As we do this, we call upon all of the light beings who are of eternal love and from eternal love on this planet, this solar system, this galaxy, and all galaxies, and all dimensions, and all universes, who are of eternal love and from eternal love, we ask them to join us in this meditation. All of those that, that wish to join us that are not that have malcontent and have negative intentions will not be allowed to join us. And we call upon all of the archangels, the cherubim and the seraphim, and all of the angels of eternal love, from eternal love, to join us in this meditation. We call upon the ascended masters, El Moria, Saint Germain, Sananda, Buddha, Maitreya, Kuan Yin, Watch me. All of the ascended masters, there are many, of eternal love, from eternal love, to join us in this meditation. We call upon all of our loved ones who have passed over in this life and all lives, of eternal love and from eternal love, to join us in this meditation. We call upon all of those in inner earth and hollow earth who are of eternal love and from eternal love to join us in this meditation all of the sprites, fairies, and the gnomes to join us in this meditation. We can feel as they come in and we become brighter than all the suns and all the universes. Space is no longer black. It is white 
white. And we feel, we see our meditative sphere heading towards 250 meditations, housing all of those meditations in perpetual motion of the golden white, pink light of prime source greater God's eternal love, of the emerald green healing flaming light of Archangel Raphael, the purple transmuting flame of the violet ray. We can feel the warmth and the energy and the power coming of love coming from this sphere. And we begin to feel the rain come down across our heads, saturating our entire bodies from head to toe, saturating our eternal self, our higher self. And we become washed of all judgment, of all negativities, of all angers, of all conflict, of all thoughts that are destructive, harming, degrading, de-energizing, washing away. And we see them rise into a, a murky mist and be vacuumed away to the central sun for repurposing. We feel this exuberation, this cleaning, if you will, and deep within and around and, and everywhere that we are in our higher self, embracing us, we can feel this embrace, this deep love coming through us, permeating all that we are, all that we ever have been and all that we ever will be. And this is literally washing over the planet. It's going out in waves. It's a beautiful uh, uh, reflection of multicolored deep, bright lights that are literally healing, rejuvenating, repurposing, and generating nothing but peace, respect, honor, caring, nurturing for all, for all inhabitants of this planet, for all that there is in all areas of the universe and galaxies, through all the universes, we send this energy out. It stays in motion. It continually moves. It surrounds and saturates on a second-to-second -second basis, neutralizing and eliminating all of the vile, negative, judgmental, irritable, angry, aggression that we sometimes are faced with to be eliminated permanently and sent back to the central sun for repurposing. We can see the, the emerald green healing flaming light. We can see the uh, golden white pink healing and eternal love light combining. And we can see the violet ray and the purple transmuting flame neutralizing all of this negative, judgmental group and watching it rise and be vacuumed off. We see everything in this bright, vibrant, and deep eternal love flowing consistently. Infinity. I'll join you in the meditation and I'll return to close us out.
you feel the uh, lightness feeling in your chest, the, the, the uh, uh, joy, happiness, bliss. When we let go of these judgment energies, and these cynicism and ridicule and all of these things that drag us through the mud, uh, we feel lighter and we are lighter and we're happier. And we're in, we're approaching divine bliss. Our ultimate uh, destination is with eternal love is divine bliss. And when you are in divine bliss with eternal love, everything is in bloom uh, continuously. Your direction and thinking and your heart center, your heart mind, is enlightened and is risen uh, and expanded. You become just beyond and beyond. And to me, once you're there, once you know how to get there, you will definitely be motivated to stay there. There's nothing like it. It's just so wonderful and enlightening. So, and I wish that for every one of you, that we uh, together on this journey progress to a level of divine bliss. And that's when you will reach a level of vibration uh, that will make it so apparent and clear that the deep love you have for all of your brothers and sisters and all inhabitants of this planet is paramount for moving forward for ourselves and for all life. Uh, we will be having a uh, Zora call uh, at on Tuesday on uh, Blog Talk. It'll be about two hours, and it will be uh, uh, Eastern time. Uh, it will be 8 p.m. Eastern time Tuesday on Blog Talk on the Zora call, and. Uh, we are going to go over some very interesting uh, areas that uh, I think people are going to want to know. So, uh, you know, if you feel compelled to go there and uh, interact, then you're welcome to it. And through Prime Source Creator God, and through all of the angels, and through all of the light beings of great eternal love, sending you perfect, flawless health, youth, happiness, joy, bliss, peace, and prosperity, euphoria, nurturing, caring, sharing, giving, serving yourself with deep eternal love, and serving each other with deep eternal love in progressing to the frequency and, and vibration of divine happiness, divine bliss, divine